There is not one day in our Northern Kentucky paper that heroin is not in the headlines. As I explained to a group of young people the other day, in a three-mile span on 18, from Sunday till Monday, leaving from Frankfurt, I sat in church with parents who had lost children. I stopped at the post office on Monday morning, and I saw the lady who works in the post office whose daughter died three years ago at 24 years of age with a needle in her arm. I stopped in the bank and saw people who had lost family members. And by Wednesday of this week, I was called by a grandmother who lives in Petersburg, whose grandson was shot in the chest. He was addicted to heroin, and he was in the heroin business and was shot and, and killed in Cincinnati. It is the reality. I have heard from people in my community that are not for treatment. They believe people got themselves into this mess, get them out. We should lock them all away. But there's a process to dismantling the heroin network. The gentleman from Christian calls it cutting off the head of the snake, making sure there's appropriate treatment, making sure that we have laws that are tough on those who come into the state and traffic heroin. That end of the tail, maybe that's the tail of the snake, I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, that piece could be cast away and the doors locked forever. Those traffickers who make the business in a state that has a problem with an addiction to opioids. I would ask now, though, that the clerk call up floor, House Floor Amendment 1. House Floor Amendment 1, Mr. Clerk. House Floor Amendment 1 to House Bill 213. Lady from Boone. House Floor Amendment 1 respects all the pieces of the bill as put forward. But one of the areas that gives even a lot of people angst, whether they're for treatment or not treatment or locking them away forever or whatever they feel, is needle exchanges. And we've never had the opportunity on the Health and Welfare Committee to really debate and understand that issue fully. And I respect the gentleman from Christian for including it, but it would simply call for the, the needle exchange portion to be deleted at this time, and that during the 2015 interim, that the Joint Health and Welfare Committee shall study the substance abuse treatment with outreach programs of needle exchange it calls for these programs to help us to understand how these reduce bloodborne transmission, the cost benefit of analysis of implementing such a program, the long-term excuse me, economic and social uh, prospects of this, and also as the programs, do they truly encourage the addicted, those addicted to opioids to seek substance abuse treatment?